Utah is known as the beehive state for its busy worker bees, which are inspired in part, in large part truly, to its Mormon religion. In Mormons, you're always, Mormonism, you're always supposed to be busy, you're always trying to be working, like that anonymous little worker bee. Recently, a Christian missionary had a conversation with a Mormon missionary. The Christian missionary pointed out that worker bees die. I mean, they literally work themselves to death until their, their wings fall off. And the Mormon missionary, surprisingly, clasped hands to the chest and said, they're an inspiration to us all. Is that all you want for life? Do you want to just work, work, work so hard at your life that you give yourself to your job, you give yourself to your family, you give yourself to culture or religion or whatever it is, and all you are an anonymous bee that gets disintegrated by the hive and move along? For all of the work you do, don't you want something a little bit better than to be a bee that's supposed to inspire others? Psalm 124. Praise be to the Lord who has not let us be torn by their teeth. We have escaped like a bird out of the fowler's snare. The snare has been broken and we have escaped. We live in a world that's trying to trap you with beehive mentality. Praise the Lord he got us out. Praise the Lord he shows us a different value. Yes, work hard, certainly. There's a joy in work, but, but I'm not just some bee. I'm the son of God, I'm the daughter of God. I'm, I'm part of his family. I have eternal value. I'm not just here to try to work, 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 work for some reason. That's not gonna last. I mean, because God has gifted me, he's rescued me, he's worthy of my praise eternally. If you believe the lie of your culture, you just work yourself to death, whether you're a human or a bee. But if you hear the God who rescues you from our culture's lies, you'll give him praise and you'll enjoy his pleasures in heaven.